What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of 5 Cool Mods. This is a series where I show you guys some of the coolest mods that come out for Fallout 4 each week and basically give you a platform for you to discover some mods that come out that maybe you wouldn't have seen otherwise. Not everyone has time to comb through all these mods, so I'm going to try and basically divide them into some stuff that maybe you'll like, maybe you won't. In this video, there's actually quite a few good mods. Like definitely a lot of these mods I'm going to be using weeks from now. So with that, let's get right into it. So the first mod I do want to show you guys is called Beachfront Sanctuary. This is actually a pretty crazy mod. It adds in this total new beach house over in this area. It's actually in Nordhagen Beach, so you do need Far Harbor and are able to use this mod. But this mod's a lot cooler than I originally thought it would be. As you play through it, you'll find above ground you do have this little house. It's like a beach house. There's a bed and it definitely has all the amenities. So you have like a washer dryer room, a bathroom, a kitchen, etc, etc. That's not what really interests me so much in Fallout 4 though. Definitely nice to have. But actually, if you walk around on the outside, there's some stuff going on there too, but we don't care about that. If you go around the outside to the side of the house, you could go in an elevator to the basement. This is where this mod starts to get very cool. You basically have a fully fleshed out basement. It is massive down there. You have a huge area for all your power armors, and there's a big open room with a shooting range and a bunch of storage, and it's just a really cool and practical house. And everything is pretty well organized, so you can absolutely use this in the way it's intended to be used, in the sense that, okay, I want to go ready to go on a new adventure. I'm going to go downstairs, get all my stuff together, or maybe I just had a long day of traveling. I'm just going to go up, go take a sleep in my house, especially if you're playing on survival. It's a very getaway feeling to it. So you can reserve yourself to your home and feel safe and not like you're going to get raided or anything like that. All around a very cool mod and definitely one I recommend you check out. So next up, we do have the clean pre-war workshop. Basically, this adds in a bunch of clean versions of all the different workshops and crafting benches in Fallout 4. Some of these workshops actually have a few additional changes. Also, in addition to just having that clean and sleek looking texture, they have a few little details like changing what kind of tanks are on them or just adding more detail to some of the features on them. All around, it's a very simple but a very cool mod. There's two options. There's a replacer version and an additional version. So you could basically have it replace all these existing ones. That's what I did because who to go around and replace these all but for those of you with more time on your hands or you just want to have it that way you also can have one where you have to craft the clean versions on their own which actually makes more sense but i'm a little bit lazy all around a very cool mod and definitely one i recommend you check out the skyscraper settlement so it's been a while since i've even included a settlement mod in this series or any series in general and then this one we have two so maybe after a nice weekend at your really nice beach house you want to go back to the city where your place of work and where there's loot to be had well you can now do that in your skyscraper settlement basically what this adds in is a massive skyscraper to the game or really renovates an existing one this is the dartmouth professional building it is in downtown boston by the library so kind of in the center of all the happenings especially if you're playing on survival this is a pretty good location and basically it is a skyscraper but it adds it as a fully working settlement so you could build up there and it also has a really cool roof space with the pool and all that and all around just a little bit more of a unique but cool settlement area if you want to be a baller you can be a baller that's why i downloaded it hopefully that's why you download it So Jade or Just Alternate Death is a very simple yet kind of hardcore mod. Basically, it changes the way dying works in Fallout 4. With this mod, when you die, you're actually going to respawn at your bed. But beyond that, you're actually going to respawn with potentially less items. So it's not going to just reload a save because, you know, that's a little scummy and you know what's going to happen now. Instead, if you're a really hardcore player out there, it's going to calculate what you can keep based on a cap's value. So more or less, it'll assign a value to all the items in your inventory based on caps and then it'll calculate based on your level how many caps you're allowed to keep so let's say you're level 60 you'll get to keep 800 caps worth of items so then as you wake up at your bed after that hard battle you'll have potentially less stuff or if you're like me and i was a really high level and didn't have a valuable inventory you should have everything still it's a really cool mod that changes a very simple feature and i definitely recommend you check it out i know it's not going to be for everyone but mods like this are cool to feature and play around with for a little bit Last but not least, we have the Metal Gear Solid BB Corp suit. I know a lot of people bitch about me featuring Sludy mods, and yes, this is definitely Sludy in nature. It's about what you don't show versus what you do show, but that's how I actually like this mod. Although my character's boobs were too big so they clipped out of armor, this is a great mod to use for a female character if you just want something to put under armor. I've talked about this before, I have a lot of trouble in Fallout 4 actually finding good mods to put under my existing armor, and well, this is a great solution. It's just like a skin tight, pretty new neutral color like a military black gray or I think there's a green option as well and I just throw 
some combat armor on top and there you go good to go it looks good it functions well and frankly i really like it so cash rise me in the comments or don't but that's why i actually included this mod and i actually may be using this in the future for female characters for that very reason that's going to include this edition of five cool mods though i do hope you enjoyed i feel like there's something i had to say at the end of this video or that i wanted to say but now i can't really think of it so i didn't conclude it here as always i thank you for watching and i do hope to see you all next time later